Hello everyone, welcome you all back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about insurable risk. So this is part three video. If you have not watched my previous videos, please go and watch so you will know more information about what is insurance and what are the principles of insurance. And at the same time, if you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe. People and organizations can insure themselves against different kind of risk. So in this video, I'm going to talk about these different kind of risks, not all the types of risks, but then some of the risks which we can insure. So we'll start with premises insurance. So premises insurance covers against the risk of damages to the property of the business, the stock it holds and equipment loss. So there are two types of business premises insurance. First one we say building insurance covers the cost of repairing or rebuilding the premises as a result of damage. It means if you have a premises insurance and if you are going to have only building insurance, so if anything happens to your building, insurance company will pay compensation so you can repair your building with that compensation. And then you have another type of business premises insurance that is content insurance. This content insurance covers the cost of replacing stock or equipment damage or stolen. So in this content insurance, so insurance company is going to assess and evaluate the cost of damages which happens to your stock and equipment. So they will pay compensation. So with that compensation, you can actually buy or restock your product. So content insurance simply talks about the things inside your building whereas building insurance talks about only the building. A thrift insurance, this is important because most of business premises are unoccupied at night. So most businesses will have stock and valuable equipments in their organization. So this will cover the risk of any damage resulting from such accident. So if someone comes and stole your product, so you can simply compensate from your company if you have applied this threat insurance policy. Insurance. Any vehicle taken on public road is required to have a certain minimum level of insurance to ensure that drivers can meet their liability for injury to others. So most common type of motor insurance are third party fire and theft insurance or as we say comprehensive policies insurance. So first of all we will see what are third party insurance. So this is the minimum level of an insurance a person can have to drive his or her car on a road. So the motorist insures the liability for damage to other people and their property plus the loss or damage to his or her car through a fire or threat. So but not as a result of an accident. So that is third party insurance and comprehensive policy insurance in a sense. These are only given the above third party fire and threat cover but also provide comprehension for accidental damage to the vehicles of the insured. For an example, if two vehicles uh, met with an accident, if you have a comprehensive policy insurance, your insurance cover will take care of your vehicle plus if the mistake is on your side, it will take care of the other person's uh, vehicle uh, as well. So this is about motor insurance. Marine insurance, a special form of insurance used by those involved in shipping. It covers the loss of or damage to ships and their cargo. Aircraft insurance is very similar. And it covers such risk as fire, theft, piracy, bad weather, sinking and collision. So this is about marine insurance. Basically, we can talk about four different types of marine insurance. First insurance is hull insurance. So hull insurance covers the ship's infrastructure. So if anything happens to the ship infrastructure, then you get compensation if you have a hull insurance. Next insurance is cargo insurance. So cargo insurance covers the loss of ship's cargo. And then you have another type of insurance called freight insurance. Freight insurance protects the policy holder against the loss of freight money. So in case of a delay, uh, sometimes this uh, cargo owners or the ship owners will not uh, get money from the people who they are supposed to deliver. So in that case, they will get the protection from trade insurance. 
and then ship owner's liability protects the ship owner from a variety of hazards events related to shipping so damages from collisions at sea injuries to passengers anything so these are the four different types of marine insurances available next we will see fire insurance which is one of the common insurances available fire insurance is property insurance covering damage and losses caused by fire the purchase of fire insurance in addition to homeowners or property insurance helps to cover the cost of replacement repair or reconstructions of property above the limits set by the property insurance uh, policy so it's like you will get compensation to recover from any damages which was which has caused by the fire so that is fire insurance Consequential loss insurance covers the indirect loss caused by being able to use business property as a result of fire, flood, storm or vandalism and so on. Sometimes of this insurance can cover loss of business income as well as replacements of material items. There is another type of very important insurance which is called liability insurance. Actually there are three liability insurances. First one, if he says employer's liability, employer's liability insurance protect employers from claims and liabilities arising from accidents or injury to an employee during his or her employment. If one of your employee got into trouble while they are doing their job, you have to pay compensation to them. So in that case, you are protected if you have employer's liability insurance or so insurance company will pay to your employee on behalf of you. And then if you go to next liability insurance that is public liability provides compensation if a member of the public is injured within the business's site area and due to negligence by the business. So if anything happens to a outsider comes into your business and if anything happens just because of your negligence, in that case, you have to pay compensation. So insurance company will pay compensation on behalf of you if you have a public liability insurance. And last type of insurance called the product liability insurance protects the business against claims by customers as a result of faulty products being supplied by the business. So this is not a good thing, but anyway, if any sort of incident happen your insurance company will pay compensation to your consumer so you are kind of protected so these are the different types of liability insurances we have fidelity guarantee insurance so it is used particularly by businesses to protect against loss by fraud and stealing including theft by employees if one of your employees is steal any of your product if the cost of that product is very high in that case you can simply get insurance compensation from insurance company if you have a fidelity guarantee insurance another very important type of insurance is credit insurance uh, a business selling goods on credit runs the risk of some of its customers failing to pay their debt. Customers may go bankrupt and so be unable to pay. So the business is left with money owning that, is, that has no chance of recovery. This type of insurance cover is usually given only for a part of the loss. So if consumers are unable to pay their debt, you are running at a loss. So in that case, your insurance company will help you to recover from that debt. That is credit insurance. Plate glass insurance. Glasses in shop windows, showrooms and other commercial premises is expensive to replace. Therefore, shopkeepers may take out this insurance cover to cover the risk of breakage as a result of vandalism or any accident. So that is plate glass insurance. Personal insurance, uh, it is any kind of insurance that covers individuals against loss that results from death, injury or loss of property. There are different kind of personal insurances available. First of all, if you see life insurance is an agreement to pay compensation upon the death of an insured person. And sometimes this life insurance include health insurance as well. So, and there are separate health insurances as well. 
So this health insurance covers the whole or at least part of the risk of a person incurring medical expenses for different kind of diseases. And then home insurance, this covers a private resident. And then you have another special type of insurance called disability insurance. Insurers earn income against the risk that a, that a disability creates a barrier for a worker to complete their work. So these are some of the personal insurances available. There are a lot of personal insurances available, but I have included only a few of the personal insurances. Thank you very much for watching my video. This is the end of part 3 video and I invite all of you to go and watch part 4 video and at the same time please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.